hi everyone and welcome back welcome to another video of uh, nest js advanced course and here we are talking about uh, module one and in this module we are talking only about uh, the basic stuff we have already covered a couple of videos talking about the basic features basic building blocks interceptor filters pipes and uh, we talked about a simple crud operation with the help of uh, postgres type rm and we have created these packages now i will talk about a couple of more things let's say we can talk about how what is a cyclic dependency in the nest js and how we can introduce uh, another package or another module let's say if i want to build a logger module then how should we do it and after that we will write our own uh, package or you can say uh, you can say nest js library or package or a module in the pnpm packages and then that will be the dynamic package built by ourselves, and we can uh, call the for root and for root async on that package to use that in our uh, application so first of all what we are going to do let's try to understand the cyclic dependency cyclic dependency is simple uh, logic let's say what happens is i create a auth module here inside i create a auth and here i create a auth service.ts and auth module.ts okay i can just copy the same user module and we'll just replace things so this is auth module right uh, we don't have much uh, lots of things inside this we, we are just going to have simple auth service because i just wanted to give a demo like what is cyclic dependency and how we resolve it there might be a use case sometimes where you need to have a dependency interdependencies of two pack two modules on one another let's say user module depends on auth auth module depends on the user it's really a cyclic dependency but can we fix it like if there is a constraint i have to use it this, uh, this way only like auth service has authentication logic and user service has a user management logic auth service also wants to access the use user services to do the crud operations and user service also needs to access the auth services to validate if user is logged in or something like that so let's see how we do it here we create a we can create a simple auth service so simple auth service we can create and here we are going to have a simple constructor this is injectable right so this is our auth service and this is our auth module here i can inject or add auth service in the provider and i will also export this because i want this service to be used by user service and similarly here i have a user module user service i will export this also so that any other module can use it so this is my user module now what i will do is user module a i am importing the auth module here and i will import the, the user module there inside auth module i will import a user module okay and where it is coming from auth service let's see ta -da -ta -ta -ta. auth module and auth service inside auth module can't find user entity i don't have those things here let me restart this so i will restart this application first so that we can get rid of these typescript errors okay now i do see one circular dependency error you can see a circular dependency between modules so why that is happening because auth module depends on the user and user module depends on auth and we have this scenario that we cannot get rid of it we need to find a way to fix it so it is saying that use forward reference so how do we do it i mean in the all the documentations will tell you this is how you do it so inside our auth service what we are doing is we are using private read only user service and 
and similarly inside the user service in the user service we are using auth service private read only auth service right but this is here we are using the services also because we are importing the module that means we wanted to exchange we wanted to use the services in auth service using the user service user service is using auth service and obviously that's a problem so how should we fix it we need to inject the forward ref in in both the services so it's auth service i will do the forward reference of auth service here similarly i need to do the same thing at the other service which is auth service forward reference uh, user service okay that is the one fix at the service level now we need to fix the same thing at our module level also we need to use forward reference so in auth module i will just use forward reference user module and at the this user module i will use a forward reference auth module okay so okay that fixed my problem earlier it was complaining the cyclic dependency is now it is fixed so in a particular scenario or a particular case we should be able to use uh, this kind of scenario where one module depends on another and another module depends on uh, the same module so in complex application where we have lots of services we cannot put, put each and everything in a shared module right shared module is something uh, which can be added in any module so it won't lead us to a cyclic dependency but sometimes there, there are some common logic and common services written in some module which you need to import which you need to use in another module and another module is already using the the, the other module so it's a cyclic dependency but we can get rid of it by just using a forward reference at the service level and at the module level okay so now the next thing we can talk about is simple uh, the logger functionality uh, using nest.js so there is a nest.js uh, pre-built logger which we can use using nest.js logger okay or you can write your own custom logger and we have lots of logging library debug winston uh, puno i mean i know the different uh, logging libraries which provides a console output and nest.js logger provides the extension uh, feature that you can write your own custom logger and you can just use it you can just uh, use that in the app instance so let's take a look on to that so when we are writing these services how uh, we can we use this uh, inbuilt nest.js logger that's simple you go to the domain and any of your service let's say i'm just doing this user service here i want to use some logging so what i can do is let's say this is my service name user service dot name the class name and this logger you can import from nest.js common logger and here in your code you can start adding the this dot logger dot error let's say you are doing something here it's just only one liner it's not going to break but let's say you are doing some transactions and all where you have a possibility that this code can break in that case you can just start adding the loggings like this and this dot logger dot info now because you got the instance of logger logger dot log and you can just log some message handling fetch users okay maybe some user data or something so this is how you can do enable the logging and when you call this you would be able to get this logging and you can also register logging as a middleware what i mean to say is because sometimes what happens is this is only for the http requests because http requests will come from the because what we want to do is all the requests which are coming to my nest.js apis i should be i should be able to log it and see it by doing the logging like this will only be printed only if you are hitting this particular request but I want a particular format for my all uh, the requests to be logged on the console. So what you can do is you can create a simple middleware also for that, which is like app log middleware, right? This is a simple function, right? But you can write your own middleware, which uh, does lots of things on top of that. Simple middleware is this logger middleware, nest middleware, and it is just logging all the requests. 
it is also using the same logger module logging http request status code and all and this logging middleware you can register to your root module and we already know how to register a module for all the routes go to your domain module and here consumer.apply right consumer.apply logger middleware for all the routes okay logger middleware yes that's it okay we are importing it somewhere okay it started right now this is how when you hit any http requests then we should be able to log it on the console so here i can see the logging is happening you can see i have logger middleware i applied for all the routes and it is just uh, logging a simple http request and i can see that uh, request is coming down like this i can hit this request a couple of times and i can see this kind of a logging right so this is a uh, logging is happening because we enabled it and we are not using the custom logger we are using the predefined uh, the logger i mean we are using this from the nest js common this logger module nest js common this logger module or you can write your own custom logger with the help of Winston or any other console uh, logging library and you can override the, the logger which Nest.js provides. So let's see that uh, overriding creating your own custom logger and override uh, it with the Nest.js uh, default logger. Let's see that in the next video.